Now they are standing in this union at the St. Michael's Lauderdale Cathedral. The Pearl is our history. Actually, in the old times, since the 11th century, there was constructed the Dmitrius Monastery. And actually, after this, his son, in 1108, created the first building of the Michael's Ministry. By Michael's, because his name, the Christian name, was Michael's. Also, now that very new cathedral was rebuilt in 1996 to the 20, uh, 200, and actually it's made in the Ukrainian Baroque style of the 17th century. During the last reconstructions, architectures decided to depict the entry to the St. Michael's Cathedral the same as the entry to the Lava Monastery. So now we can look on the walls, the both walls of the St. Michael's Cathedral. The first picture of the hills show us how it looks like the landscape of Kiev fans. So many hills and actually many churches on all these hills. And also that very picture near it shows us the same place of that very cathedral. Since the 13th century, in that cathedral was one the remains of the Saint Mother Barbara. And actually people still believe that it made many wonders, but now the relics of Saint Barbara they keep it in the Saint Vladimir's Cathedral. On that very picture we can see this you in the middle, the figure of the Archangel Michael. It's one of the patrons of our city, Kiev. What is interesting is he is standing on the sign of infinity. What is also interesting in our history, more than 1,500 years ago, the very famous French writer came to Kiev and well visited it, such as an interesting words about Kiev. And Kiev is the old man, the age of whom is eternity. So now we can check it this way. In the corner also we can see this you the picture of the founder of that very monastery, Prince Svetopov. And also on the background we can see the probable picture of how cathedral looked like a long time ago, maybe in 1108. And now let's come inside the monastery and see it. Founded in 1108 by the Prince Svetopolk, this monastery is considered to be the beautifulest one and the most richest one. Actually, the dome of that very cathedral was first gilded, and actually after this it had this name, the St. Michael's Golden Dome Cathedral. And there is such a belief that all the monasteries on the territory of Ukraine and of Russia, the last of the time, took that very tradition from that very monastery. Also now, cathedral have the features of 17th century Ukrainian Baroque style. That's why it have the major colors of that very style, the blue and white one. Also, if you look on the top, we can see the figure of a Kenjo Michael, the patrons of our city. Actually, then it was founded in the 1108. It had many different mosaics and frescoes, which is now keeping not only in Ukraine, in the St. Sophia Historical Museum, but also in St. Petersburg and in Moscow. Also, the Tver Cathedral considered to be the darkest one because of many very sad history which happened here on the Tver territory. The pearl of old Russian history saw the invasion of the Tata Mongols in the 1240, and also the different ages of ruling the Polish kingdom here, and it was destroyed unfortunately in 1937 by the Soviet government because they had a plan to construct here the Soviet government complex. But only in 1939, the only one building was actually constructed here, which is now given to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which you see this you a little bit later. But after this, the reconstruction of that very complex was finished only in 2000. To the cathedral we can see the open walls of the 18th century because then in 1937 the cathedral was mined actually the newspaper said that more than 2,500 explosive materials have been put here in, in the evening. On the 14th of August in 1937, it was all mined, but still, the, some of the uh, parts of the cathedral have been remained. And under the last reconstruction, architects decided to open and to show the original walls. A very, very strong one. And actually, why it was made so? Because in the 11th century, we have a tradition to make the cathedral very, very strong one. Because during invasions, people were trying to find a shelter in the churches. Not only because of the thick walls, but also because of the God. In front of 
was the fountain of wishes of the St. Michael's Goddardum Cathedral. By the legend, since the foundation of the cathedral in 1108, there was the old well, and people believe if to come to that very place and drink water from that well, you recover from many illnesses. And also, if you bring the gift to the iron cross, which was standing here, near that very well, and put it, the little coin, the gift, in the water from that well, and it will stick to that iron cross, the wish will come true. So during the last reconstruction, people decided to pull open here the symbolizing fountain that you can still make the dishes. So what should you do? You should take the coin, put it in the water of that very fountain of dishes, and try to stick it to wet the wedgers. If it will stick, the wish will come true. So try to do this. Let's put it in the water. Try to stick it and make a dish. So you can see that my wish will come true. So try to do the same.